So hello everybody and welcome for the solution video for byte 6 of our crime game. Um, we are solving it in bytes. This is uh, episode 6, the solution video. And um, if you want to get all the videos as I produce them, make sure that you join the membership uh, channel here on YouTube and you will like, get access to everything as I am building it. Otherwise you will get it once a week, okay? So what we're going to do today is, let me show you. So you go to kerbal.com and then Kerbal Learning Portal, you go to Python and then you will see byte six. Um, and this is what we need to solve. Uh, do you accept the challenge? Yes, what is your name, Ruth? And then it presents a list with all the database names and then you have what table would you like to see? This is looped, it's not hard coded. So if you add more tables, they will be get fed. And then you can just, zero will give you a list of all the tables. Yes, it ask you again. And then the other numbers will give you the individual tables. And then if you write no, it quits the game. And it also validates the user input. So it took me actually quite a while to get the code right, you know, the indentations because it was repeating what I didn't want it to repeat and stuff. But yeah, at the, at the end I figured it out. So it's a good challenge, actually. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to copy everything up to uh, there. So this is up to byte four. Then byte five, we cannot copy straight away because we made some small changes. So we are going to copy up to, let me see here, but then we need to change a little bit. Or probably we can copy all that to before the while, like that. And then, if you remember here, we changed the names. Did we do it here? Here we did the changes on the names. So we need to change that to this part here. This part here, do you remember? Uh, no, this part here, sorry. That one. So, go back. Go down, you need to change that because if you remember, we had different names. We don't need that one. We created a copy of the column to be able to have proper names and unproper names and all that stuff. Uh, I think this one is okay as it is, otherwise it will give us an error probably. Uh, this looks good. Right. So if I, yes, Ruth, let's get you initiated. The following names and tables are available. Yes, okay, no. So there we need to have the if proper. So this is where it will list the tables available with the beautified name. So let's run it again. Yes, Ruth. Yeah, cool. Then we have the list of the names and then let's explore the tables forward. And this is where we put the while statement, the while statement that we had here. Do I have to get the N? I think I have to get the N. You said N3 though. We don't want to have N3. Go in there. Um, So this part of the loop. Well, did we use it? I didn't think we used it. I think we did like that while true. Yeah, we did use it. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Put it there. In one, two, nine. Because this table does not contain the zero. You could actually put range in here instead of the end. That's fine. Um, and this will ask us for the tables. Would you like to table X, Y, Z? Beautiful. And then we need to add 
this part of the code. This is the part that you had to create yourself. Um, that one. So let me show you what it does. This, it says, if inspect table equals zero, that means if the user said that wants to see the entire table, then go and get all tables. Get all tables is, don't need a why there. Get all tables is this part of the code, right? And then we have this part is where this one is where it loops through the one, two, three, four, five. So it says if is uh, one, then do that. If it's two, the if statement comes here, right? The other one is just looping. So if this is one, then do table one. But here instead of table, replace blah, blah, blah. We don't need to do that because we do have a proper name already created. So this is enough. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And then this is validating the validation part to make sure that if they don't write yes or no, they get asked again. And then this is what it loops again if they answer yes to need more help up here. And then this is the one that breaks. This part to where to indent, it was a bit tough for me, but eventually I actually figured it out. Uh, let's see if I run this and we don't have any. Yes, Ruth. Uh, let's explore those tables. Remember that if you want to copy the code, you can use Contesia. No, um, Moments later. Okay, so we don't have get all tables yet, which is this part. No, it's not that one. It's this part. I call that get all tables. So we need to create a new function here. Def. Get all tables. And then we need to append this. Stop it and run it. Oh, yes. Uh, I always forget this. So, yes, Ruth, zero. Moments later. Oh, we're missing the. The, the big while true, obviously, while true, to be able to loop over and then need to indent all that. More help is not defined. Oh, yeah, 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 I need to do that. <laughs> Um, I need to de declare the variables, obviously, mm, because we have not declared the global variable here, which is going to be schema. More help is not defined, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. So this should be in there. You see, even if I've done it once, <laughs> it's still struggling. Okay, yes, three, yes, five, no. Lovely, lovely. So you need to be super careful about the indentations of the wild loop. Now, I've done this a little bit quick. Let me know if you would like me to like code everything and explain every line, but because we've done the tough part, which was to try it except, 
the other one was just four and if loops and you know put the code together if you need more specific help i will do it for the next bytes okay but i just thought that just going through the code and explaining what it does it might be enough so still let me know so i know how detailed i need to be for the videos and the solutions so this is all for uh, the byte six solution and uh, next week i think we will do we will plot where the crime databases, where the crimes are from the crime database. Why not? We're actually, because there are no, you know, we have in the database the location names, the city names, but we do not have the log like latitude and longitude or address for the places. So we're going to call Google API Maps with Python, get the latitude and longitude and plot it. I guess the plot we will do in the next byte. First, we will get the latitude and longitude, and then we will do the plotting uh, using Matplotlib. How cool. OK, let me know how we are doing. <laughs> if, it, if you're still in the game, if it's too hard, too, too slow, too easy, too whatever. So I know I'll see you in the next byte.